could drink the old cocoa water. Okay, you cannot. Whoa. I'm not very good at making things. Well, that's not entirely true. I'll make a pretty mean cup of joe if you know what I mean. <laughs> no, I mean, once I actually make and follow through and finish something, I'm actually pretty good at it. It's just that I'm really bad at actually finishing things. Let me explain. When it comes to being creative and having ideas, I'm basically Superman. Ideas, for me, are not that hard to come by. On a good day, I can have like three or four pretty good ones. And sometimes, I even managed to write them down. I know. But I never really follow through with them. A lot of the time, I'll actually start things. I'll like start writing the first few pages of a script or I'll turn on the camera and film the first few parts of a video. But I usually just don't end up finishing it and I don't know why. <laughs> usually hear motivational speakers say things a lot like, the journey of a thousand miles begins with the first step or you gotta go from one to zero or yeehaw if they're a cowboy. And usually what they mean by that is that going from one to zero by actually starting something, you've just finished the like the hardest part. I'm gonna start this whole thing again. And what they mean by that is that actually starting an idea, going from, from this thing that's in your head and making a physical manifestation of it, that's the hardest part of the creative process. They mean that by doing that, you have accomplished more than anybody ever has just sitting on the couch and not doing anything. And while I agree with that, I don't think that's really my problem. I in fact seem to have the opposite problem. I can start things all live long day, I just can't get the thing that I've started and make it like a full, like a full thing, like I can't finish things. I have come up with what I think are several reasons why this happens to me. Number one, I think I just get insecure sometimes. Sure, on video I may seem like I'm pretty confident, but I, like anybody else, can get kind of sensitive when it comes to the things I make. I have those same thoughts that anybody else has, like, are people going to like this? Is my boss gonna see this? Where are my pants? You know, insecurities. <laughs> the second reason I think it's hard for me to finish things I just run out of energy. Now, is making a YouTube video the hardest thing in the world? No, not by a long shot. But it does, but it, mm, 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 mm. but it does take up time and effort and living my life as a busy college student, there are some times where I have to divert my creative energy into other, eh, energy. <laughs> Sometimes it's just the line you can't say, you know what I'm saying? But it does take up time and effort, and I am a college student with a busy life. Sometimes I just have to divert my creative energy into other things. That, however, doesn't explain why I don't make videos when I'm not really doing anything else. However, I think this next reason does, and that's just that I get too excited about things. What'll happen is that I'll be sitting there doing whatever it is I'm doing, and I'll get an idea, and I get super excited about this idea, and I jump up, and I run and go, grab my laptop and I grab something to drink and I, I sit down and I start writing and I get through the first few pages of whatever this new idea is. And soon I'll think, you know what, that's probably good enough and I'll put it down and I'll think, I'll come back to this in a minute. In the meantime, however, I get another new idea which is twice as exciting as that first idea and I decide I have to write this one down before I forget it, otherwise I just, who knows what's gonna happen, right? We may never get spiders versus zombies if I don't write this idea down right now. And then this just keeps happening over and over and over again a cycle of like getting an idea writing that idea down and then getting a different idea and writing that idea down and just goes on and on and on and nothing ever gets done me and my ideas are like that dog from up and squirrels he is a good and smart master and he made me this color so that i may talk squirrel i mean if you were to just casually scroll through my google docs page or if you already have if you're the government then you would notice that it's mostly comprised of half-finished things. I want to change that. I want to be the kind of person who finishes things. I'm setting a goal for myself that I'm not going to start anything new until I finish the things that I've already started. I'm doing this to include everything. Script ideas, bank heists, cups of coffee, mash the complete series on Laserdisc, zooming this camera in all the way. All right, I think I'm done. <laughs> If you're kind of interested in what I just talked about, I'll link some videos in the description that also kind of talk about this thing from other creators. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you like this. I'll maybe see you next time. Okay, bye. Bye.